Hey guys, it's Rosie or Topic of Bricks here with another video. In today's video we're going to be doing a part 2 of our 4 part series where we are going to be building a Lego High Potter mark called The Entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. So if you haven't watched part 1 then I highly recommend doing so before you proceed with this video as part 1 lays out the plan for this mock and how the rest of the series is going to pan out. So without further ado, let's jump on into this video. So the episode is called The Concepts, so it's been quite a while since episode 1 as I have been essentially trying to build my mock on a digital designer tool called Stud.io. Stud.io is an alternative designer software to Legital Digital Design. Stud.io is more advanced and it has established itself as the main go-to software for digital Lego building. I'll leave a link where you can download this software in the description below. So obviously if you have watched part 1 you'll know that I have bought 4 Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion mistake sets and that is all you will need to make this mock. I have drawn up the plans to attach them all together and clear out the floor and essentially rebuild the set from there. The things I wanted was a row of stalls on one wall, a row of sinks on the other and also the iconic circular sink column on the other side. So I thought the best thing to do was to have the entire set rebuilt on Stud.io, following the set's instructions which my friend Snazzy kindly put together for me. Then I could duplicate it four times and then use that Stud.io file to experiment and work out ways how I could turn my desires for the mock into reality. This proved to be difficult as I limited myself to only using parts from the actual sets, so no extra parts. This will make it as easy as possible for you guys to build at home, but after some time I eventually came up with my first concept. So here it is and as you guys can see we have totally redesigned the set, I have managed to include all the things I wanted to include and it looks far better than I thought it would. Now just to point out this is only the first part of the mock, I also plan to build an extension to this mock that doesn't use pieces from the official sets, this is just an optional expansion which doesn't need to be added but you can add it if you want. This extension will be the chamber below the bathroom which will act as the bone room which we saw in the official Lego Chamber of Secrets set, but this time instead of using just two or three bones on clips to scatter the floor like is seen in the official set, I'm going to completely cover the floor in bones, as that's just how the floor was in the actual film, so I've gone ahead and bought 341 bones. Why did I do that? But to see how the extension to this mock goes, you'll have to see part 3 and 4, and to make sure you don't miss them, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. But overall, I'm happy with this design as it only uses parts from the sets and no extra parts. So the plan is to build this mock for real next episode in part 3 and start concept work for the bone room. And then part 4, I'm going to build the bone room in real life and putting it all together, as well as installing some LED lights which will be provided by my friend Tommy C Bricks. But one thing I wanted to get done and out of the way in this part, which I haven't covered yet, is the minifigures. So this set comes with four minifigures which are Harry, Ron, Cat Hermione and Golden Harry. I obviously only need one set of these figures, so with the other figures I'm going to be trading them in for these LED lights I mentioned, but if you guys at home don't want to light up the set or don't have anyone to trade with, you can just sell the spare figures on sites such as eBay or Bricklink and get some of your investment back which you could probably put into a light kit for this set. So with the other figures I was thinking of adding a couple of extras but I'm not sure which ones. At the moment I'm thinking of adding Gilderoy Lockhart from the Chamber of Secrets and of course Moaning Merkel. I was also thinking about making a troll so we can recreate the scene from the Philosopher's Stone but the issue here is that the scene didn't take place in the same bathroom and there isn't an easily accessible Lego troll. I could pick up the one from 2002 but that one now goes for £25 on Bricklink and it's not like I could try and build one as I am essentially using all the pieces from the sets in the final mock so I don't have enough parts left over to build a troll as well so I think I'll leave the troll out of this one. If you want to hear more about expensive Lego High Potter figures then click the video on screen now. I've been Rose, your Topic Bricks, I'll catch you next time.